Hey Gina, <clears throat> so I wanted to just kind of, I'm using my iPad to record. So this is pretty how, pretty much how awesome the chat GPT is compared to say something like Siri or Alexa. So I had a friend, an artist, sorry, recently, hi, that uh, is, he's more of a purist, right? Like somebody who's very true to all traditional mediums, only oil paint, only natural mediums, not digital art. And I couldn't think of the word, excuse me, I just ate. I couldn't think of the word for somebody who is a purist. They only stick to one thing and they're very proud of that. So I was like, is it truest? And I was like trying to stumble and figure it out. So I'll show you an example how amazing like chat GPT can be compared to something like asking Siri that question. Okay, so this is what happened. So, um... Hey Siri, I'm trying to look for the word when somebody is very true to a certain medium, when they're very like proud of that and they only stay true to that medium of art. I didn't get that. Could you try again? Hey Siri, I'm trying, what is the word for when somebody is very true to something, a medium that they use, they're very proud and true to that. What is that word? Um, phrases to say you are proud synonyms for you know so that's what that gave me to, thanks but no thanks Siri so uh chat sorry so <clears throat> when I open chat GPT and I touch in the text, sorry, the white, Jesus, I don't know how to stop that. Maybe I can dim my phone. If I type in here, and now I'm just going to go voice to text. Hey, I was trying to find the word for when somebody is a truest. They're very true to the medium of art that they use. They're very proud of it. They don't like to use anything else but that. What is that word of that kind of person? Look how fast. Purist. A purist is someone who strictly adheres to traditional techniques, values, blah, blah, blah. Dude, you see how fast that was? I mean, is it bad to be a purist or is that a good thing? What do you think? Being a purist isn't inherently good or bad. It largely depends on the context perspective for someone Blah, blah. However, you can also be downsized. A purist may be seen as resistant to change, innovation. So I'm not sure what this will do. Oh, it'll translate my voice, basically. Let's see what it says to that. Sounds like you're <clears throat> experience, experimenting with ideas, exploring how a certain approach will play out whether it's related to art, creative process, or even just thoughts. Blah, blah, discovery, what are you trying to figure out? I'm having an argument with somebody who is against AI art, period. I actually do mixed AI art. It is hand-drawn and also AI, back and forth with image-to-image -image AI, period. A lot of the general public thinks all AI is text to image AI, period. I feel like this is misleading, period. I feel like you can mix both, period. He is a very truest, sorry, a very purest person who likes to stay pure to the traditional mediums, period. I don't want to get in an argument with this person, period, but I feel I would like to rebuttal with a statement they made on Facebook, period. It's basically an extreme statement that says they are against AI art, period. It's understandable to feel the need to respond, especially when there's a lot of misunderstanding around AI art. Your approach of blending hand-drawn and our AI techniques is a great example of how technology can complement traditional methods rather than replace them here. Here's how you might respond. Look how fast that was. Totally respect your passion for traditional art. It's a foundation that should be valued. I just wanted to share 
that not all AI art is purely text to image. In fact, I often blend hand drawn elements with AI exper uh, enhancements in a back and forth process. For me, it's less about replacing traditional methods and more about exploring new possibilities while keeping the craftsmanship alive. I think there's room for both approaches to coexist and even enhance each other. This response highlights your respect for traditional mediums while general, generally including the idea that AI doesn't have to be at odds with them. It also opens the door for more productive dialogue instead of fueling a heated debate. Damn right, because I was about to come back with a big-ass essay of stupid-ass shit that was sarcastic and a bit, um, basically saying, oh, you know, carriage and horse and cars and ordering Uber Eats or making your own food. I was trying to give examples of, you know, it's up to you to discern what you want to do and how much you want to do of it. If you want to just press a button and say you did it, then fine. If you want to press a button and also press other buttons and then pick up a pencil and redraw and rescan and redraw and redraw, that's up to you to mix and match. Look at the dent on my finger. That's funny. I think I slammed it in a door once and it never went away. Anyway, that was it. Look how fast it is. Thank you. I appreciate how quick your response is, how thoughtful, how intelligent, and how well-rounded all the different perspectives can be iterated into some sort of positive communication period. Thanks. Take care now. I'm going to head off, but I appreciate all your help. Word. Chat GPT. <laughs> Soon to replace Google.